<laughs> and one, one, one other thing about Soto. I know people want to talk, and we'll get to you in a moment. Maybe Soto does want to return to the Yankees. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But Boris has laid down such a game plan. He doesn't want any team that might bid on him to think the Yankees have an advantage. And that's what Soto put out there. The Yankees don't have an advantage. Everybody starts at zero. Again, maybe secretly he's telling Boris, you get me the best deal you can from the Yankees. Although, for, he, I don't know if he's that good of an actor, because he very much seemed like, I'm going to go who pays me the most. But is there, a, is there a world, Michael, or put a percentage on? All right, drive up the money, whatever, but it does come down to the Yankees offer a tad bit higher someplace else, and he just tells Boris, listen, thank you for driving the price up, appreciate it, and I know I can get a few more bucks in San Francisco or with the Mets or, or wherever, but my, my, I, I think I want to stay here. What, what percentage do you put on that? Because remember, he, Boris works for him, not the other way around. Yeah, but so a lot of his guys, a lot of his guys act as a they work for Boris. So, I, I know, I know. Uh, that, I'd that's say why I would put the percentage low. But ten you, to fifteen percent. All right, it's not nothing. You, so you're saying there's a chance, right? And but <sighs> but but then the Yankees would be at fault because if it's that close, then step up and make it better. But if if the if the Mets are bidding ten million dollars more a year, I don't think the Yankees going to do that. Or if the Dodgers are bidding $15 million more a year, I don't think they're going to do it. If it's close, like say the Mets have an offer of a million dollars more a year, well, then it's up to the Yankees to put that million dollars on the table. But if it's someplace that they don't feel comfortable going, you know what they'll do? They'll spend the money on Corbin Burns, on Alex Bregman, on, on any other number of free agents that they could bring in. They'll That's spread right. that money around. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people say, if they lose Soto, it's all over. No, it's not all over. Is it a blow? Yes. But if you're a creative organization, you hey. take that $50 million and you get other players. You know, it wasn't like you went out and won, you know, 120 games with them this year. I mean, if unfortunately, a lot of the fan base doesn't trust Cashman. But there is a scenario, Michael, where because you can spend the money elsewhere, that your team ends up being better at the end of the day. It'd be tough, though, because God, is he good. Oh, I know. It would be I mean, very tough. Wa watching that, and as good as Judge is, you saw the struggles. But God, knowing he's coming up, I, I don't know how you guys felt. I'm sure you felt exactly the same way. I got even if he re, even if he's retired, he, he, he's gonna he's gonna force six, seven, eight pitches. He's just gonna be a beast to get out. He does not go down quietly, and he's a hell of a player. And that was a heads up play too, because another part, another boneheaded play I thought it was that didn't come back to haunt them was Chisholm trying to take second on the on, a, on the sacrifice fly, Michael. If he gets thrown out there, it's possible oh, the man. run doesn't count. Yeah. Now, they did show that that last replay that Soto did speed up. So at least he had the baseball IQ to realize, oh, my God, there might be a close play at second. I better speed up. So maybe he would have gotten there anyway. So there was at least a baseball IQ there. But, God, can you imagine, guys, if Jazz got thrown out there and they didn't count the run? They, they, they sometimes do stuff like that that it, it, you, you shake your head. But... Anyway, let's let's take uh, some phone calls. Let's go to um, Andres in Punta Cana. Hey, how you doing, guys? Um, I was at the game on Monday for Game Three. Quickly flew out to Punta Cana. I'm here now celebrating my birthday, but my birthday was yesterday, and the Yankees gave me the worst birthday gift ever, man. Ever. But that Soto interview, I would say, um, we, let's move on, right? Let's go ahead and spend the money wisely. Spend it on Bregman, spend it on Anthony Santander, who's a free agent. He hit 44 home runs last season. And then also grab the Corbin Burns. Probably utilize Spencer Jones in a trade to get a, uh, a release pitcher. But Cashman has to be thinking this way. I know Cashman, is, I call him Cash God, man. A lot of people hate him, but I know he's thinking about a backup plan, man. And I want all the Yankees to believe, man. I believe we're going to be even better next year. It's going to be a wake-up call for Judge, but the main key component of this right. is going to be Wells and Vol that's going to be the main key component. If we could turn those two guys into stars, we're going to be a successful franchise, guys. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you, guys. Well, I mean, they are going to have to get creative. I, I thought that, you know, obviously Volpe was better this year offensively than it was last year, but still far below what they expect of him. So he'll continue to mature. Uh, I, I believe in Wells, but boy, the final month and then the postseason, he was dreadful. So you hope that that was just him being fatigued well, or they figured out a way to pitch to him and he didn't make an adjustment. It's not an exact um, comparison because it was, it was different circumstances. You hope this is 76. 
you know, when they lost to the Reds, but they turn around, they go out and get Reggie Jackson and win the next two World Series. And that's you hope this is the beginning of something, not the end. Now. I understand that there's going to be a lot of changes, Michael, but maybe if that caller's attitude, you make the right changes, maybe we'll look back at this as, you know, something, a learning moment. All right, tip your cap, you lost to a better team. All right, but now next year, you know what? Let's go out, be better, learn from it, and let's create another dynasty. I mean, that's the attitude that, you know, they're going to have. See if the fans have it. Not today, obviously, but as, as, the, summer, as the winter goes on, a lot of good things happen this year. But you want to make sure you build off of it. All right, so ESPN did a poll of 28 Major League Baseball insiders, and they predicted the average length and value for Juan Soto's contract, 13 years, $600 million. Mm. So that's essentially $46 million. And I think that that's the bottom rung, because that's what Otani's contract is worth. You know, they say he makes $70 million a year, but 68 of it is deferred, so the present value is $46 million. You know that Boris is going to want more than that. Yeah. Because if you remember when A Rod signed with Texas, he signed for two fifty two, which is an odd number. Why two fifty two? You know why he did it? Because the highest contract ever in professional sports before that time was Kevin Garnett's one twenty six. So he wanted to double it. That's how yeah. Boris rolls. Exactly. You know the the other missed opportunity, Michael, is I, I think Shohei was shot that, that shoulder. Yeah, he like shouldn't have that, played. That slide in the in game two really opened the door. He shouldn't have been playing. He, he was a shell of himself. He was a yeah. non-entity there. Um, so they were essentially playing without their best player, I think, because he just uh, he didn't look like he. That, those aren't the bats you're used to seeing out of him. He and you can see he was right. Peter is like tugging at the shoulder after he was oh, swinging. Yeah. He, clearly, he was not even close to 100. percent Oh, he was wincing for sure.